this is Dwayne with These Luxury RVs. I also work with TransWest RV. I'm in Belton, Missouri. Uh, you can find me on Facebook at Dwayne's Luxury RVs. Today I wanted to walk around on the inside with you of a 2020 Fleetwood Pace Aero. This is a 36U floor plan and it's a nice little coach. It's got the S, uh, XCS chassis on it. That's a Freightliner chassis. We have a 10,000 pound hitch rating on this coach. It's got just over 13,500 miles on it, so low miles for a 2020, and the price on it is 170. So it's got plenty of sleeping space and um, lots, lots of nice amenities. It's got the tankless hot water system on this, which is an option for this coach for 2020, and this has been added to the coach. It's got a drop down bunk here, as you see, so plenty of uh, sleeping space, even though it's just overall about a 37 foot coach. 102 inches wide, which is pretty typical, and it's got a height of about 12 foot, two inches overall height on the coach. Talking about tank sizes, we have a 90 gallon fuel tank, a 77 gallon fresh water tank. It has a 32 gallon black water tank, and let me just refer a 60 gallon gray water tank. So you've got a 340 horsepower engine here, again, 10,000 tow capacity. So with a 340 horsepower, that's pretty doggone good for a just a 340 horsepower engine, 6.7 liter. As you can see, we've got a residential refrigerator here. Two slides, slide here in the living room, and then the bed is a slide as well. And we'll get back to that in just a second. Nice finishes throughout. You've got the leatherette furniture. Again, drop down bed here. These two captain's chairs will turn around toward the rear to expand your conversational seating space when you're stopped and the slides are out. Plenty of room for everybody to get comfortable, chat. A TV here right across from the seating of the dinette as well as the seating of the, uh, the sofa here. And it does have a fireplace. Now that's an electric fireplace. However, it will have a blower on it and for about 400 square foot, those things really, really toast up the coach very, very nicely. Two AC units, so you've got 50 amp power. And then the kitchen, pretty good counter space. Induction cooktop here. And this does have a propane tank on it as well. And it is a 28 gallon propane tank, uh, just so you know the size that you're dealing with there. And it's, again, that's 28 gallons. Nice cabinets throughout great drawers, full extension, and then you've got your multiplex lighting here. Now there is a controller just inside the front door where through an app you can connect and you can control a lot of the features of this coach and from right here also you can control the slides, your fans, you can control all the lighting, your generator start, uh, take, check your tank levels. It does have the automatic hydraulic leveling so you see the controller here and an inverter, which is the controller here for the inverter here. Uh, this is the drop down bed control right here and it does have a key on off switch. So if you have children while coming along with you, you can take that key out of there and they're not gonna play with that bed, just going up and down and up and down. As I walk back, convection microwave oven, nice size TV, but the pantries are pretty generous also with their drawer storage space. Pull out drawers there, just shelves down below. Central vacuum as you'll see the port right there. Now the dinette will make a bed in this coach. We've already seen the drop down bunk. Cabinets above and then you've got um, some recliners here on either side of the sofa that come out there also a sleeping space and again 36u floor plan we have a bath and a half the half bath right here and i'll show you even a little storage behind the tv pretty shallow but nice nonetheless you can't ever have enough storage in a coach like this Moving on back to the bedroom, we'll see that we've got nice 
storage space with hanging bars inside this cabinet, overhead TV, even a little vanity area, I mean, jewelry for the ladies. You could put your jewelry things there. And then we also have side-by-side -side individual units, washer and dryer, which makes it very, very nice. Also, if you're staying on the road for a long time, don't have to go to a laundromat, don't have to go to an RV uh, laundromat to, to clean your clothing, don't have to take quite as much clothing in that case. Sliding door here to close off the bedroom. And as you see, you have an elevated bed. So if you're uh, a person or a couple that like to sit up in bed and watch TV, perfect for doing that. Lays out nice and flat. And again, this is the second of the two slides right here in this bed area. More drawer space, more hanging space for again, clothes that you want to hang and then shelves above. And as I step up into the bathroom, because it's a diesel pusher, I'm standing on top of an engine compartment here. In case there needs to be work done on top of the engine, we can open this hatch and have access to that. And then the master bathroom here, again, with plenty of storage in the corner, your vanity, nice, generous, deep storage there behind the mirrors and great counter space, more drawers, and again, price on this coach is 170. I'm Dwayne with Dwayne's Luxury RVs. You can find me on Facebook. Hope you look at my videos and like them there. I can be reached at 816-516-5312, Transwest RV in Belton. My email is Dwayne, D-W-A-Y-N-E dot P-I-N-N-E-L-L -L -L at transwest.com. Thanks for uh, spending some, a little bit of time with me here. I know we rushed through these, but we don't want to lose your attention and want to give you a full overview of these coaches. Thanks so much and have a great day.